grandson. We got to get back before the storm. And then we were driving, and I said, I'd like to make it through Minneapolis today. We got through Minneapolis, and then he said, well, it's only two hours to Fargo. And his watch was, I go, okay, yeah, well, okay, we need to make Fargo. Got down the road a ways, he goes, well, if we're going to be in Fargo, he said, we're going home. I said, well, that's another a little over three, three, three and a half hours. He goes, I don't care, I'll drive. <laughs> I got home 1230 at night. But <laughs> so I, did too. I, did, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Drove 1,300 miles that day. That's a good stint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of driving. Went right through, took I-90 right through Chicago. That goes, I think, pretty much right downtown. And there we came to a standstill a couple times, but it was at right at noon, so it wasn't, I considered it not bad. Mm -hmm. As long as you're on a straight shot on the interstate and not in rush hour. Yeah. Yeah. I went through there with my son one time. Well, you want to stay away from like 5.30 to 9? And then 2.30 to 9.30. Yeah. And then the car on the shoulder, there's no room. Bumper to bumper. And he goes, this isn't bad. This is what you mean. True. You're going the right direction. You're going the right direction. Yeah. The other lane was My brother-in-law told me, when I told him we're going through Chicago, he said, oh, be careful. He said, the way going through Chicago. And I said, why? He said, well, now their latest thing is they're, they're not just carjacking. They get you stopped and then they steal all of your everything on you. And then just let you go, but your wallet, everything in your car, they clean it out. And I go, well, we're going through at high noon. I feel pretty safe. I said, I got a feeling this happens at night. And I go, this can't be on the, they aren't doing this on the freeway, I hope. But he said, well, it's Chicago. <laughs> Most burglaries occur during the day. I don't need that statistic from you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's after, facts, after, after the fact. Just now. giving you facts. <laughs> <laughs> I felt pretty safe. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the snow, so. I figured Gene would pull up a nine and be like, oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Next car. <laughs> Jamie gonna be here? No. Visit my brother-in-law now. And I don't think that was going to be on Saturday, but it might be about Wednesday now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Better this weekend than next weekend, Easter. Might be taking pictures for the paper. <laughs> Out at all the events. <laughs> you can go.
go back to your uh, liquid diet register. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to call the Mercer County Commission meeting to order. We have the agenda in front of us. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Changes on the agenda. I guess at the 9:30 instead of first reading, that is second reading. So make that known. I'd like to add EM and HR. We have EM applicant reviews on. Mm -hmm. Right, and this is just yep. a little bit more on that. Okay. Yeah, I have a couple other questions on it. Under other business, I did. Yeah. I, yep. I put down EM and HR, and then yep. I'll just. Hey, tax director department. Tax director? Yeah. Under other? Other. Well, actually, if we could have a specific time on that, that would be great because I have um, Alice wants to call in for it. Um, can we, are we thinking the um, second reading is going to take more than five minutes? I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think so. So, so I was wondering if we could do like 935, if that would be okay. Sure. Yeah. Just remind me. <laughs> okay. Because I know I know Gene, he'll forget. <laughs> okay, any other additions or changes? I move to approve. Do I hear a second? I'll second. Rick, how do you vote? Aye. Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Gene, aye. Uh, minutes of the March 6th meeting. Do I have a motion to approve? I scanned them. I didn't find anything, but there could be. See anything to change? I'll move to uh, approve as presented. I have a second? I'll second. Here, any further discussion? Hearing none, Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Rick? Aye. Gene, aye. Motion approved. Review and approve vouchers.
bills here for locks and keys for the med cart. One is from Jim and one is from Turnus. They're the same amount. Do we pay twice or? No, I'm, I know they're separate because Jim came and talked to us about them. No, otherwise I can call Jim in here because he wants specifics on it, but they're not the same bill. They're not the same no. bill? Okay, just look like. Because I know he came and talked to us. Just for clarity, I'm just curious, what's Armour you access? Oh, that is the one that takes care of our computers. We're on a location with them. They come and install them. They're just an IT company. They are our IT. Yeah. Yes. understand the need to have it. I was just wondering why. It's usually like I don't five cents a stamp. It does. Because it's meter mail. Yeah. There's a discounted on postage using it. And that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> I check a lot of postage. Yeah. Okay. It also take a lot of runs to the post office to get stamps all the time too. Funny thing is, is you can go online and order them, and then they mail them to you, but you have to pay for postage. <laughs> I should have bought forever stamps, a whole bunch of them, 10 years ago, whenever that was. People do now. Mm -hmm. the postage is going to go up, they buy a bunch of them. Yeah. I don't think they even advertise it anymore. I think they just randomly mm -hmm. increase it, mm -hmm. don't they? You have to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> I think they raise it every year. <laughs> What'd you get for Christmas? I got stamps. Did you get new platforms? <laughs>
then they can know what yeah. the dates are. <laughs> I don't know when it's slow, but. A lot of times I need a chalk board and chalk. He, he, he takes a picture of mine and then we give his the yeah. next meeting. <laughs> well, nothing wrong with that. Yep. The camera's a As long as one of us is on top of it, we're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't done one yet this year, so I'm probably going to do it. They'll both be the same, whether right or wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he's matching my mileage, that's a little different. <laughs> Voucher, I really messed up here a month ago. And I've said, well, I don't even know why. I should just put all the receipts in the envelope and just send it in. Because they corrected it on me and I was way off. Sometimes I wonder if I just created an acronym and didn't tell anybody what it was for, if anybody ever questioned it. <laughs> <You're right. I have no idea if it's 90 bucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hopefully it was correct. <laughs> I have no way to check that. <laughs> My Google Translate couldn't keep up. <laughs> Turnus was working on it. That's what I thought was going to be a bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Well, every once in a while, you know, you've got workers that come up. And oh, there's a lot of them. They used it, yeah.
I was looking at that. Ours says Chicago too, but it's HDR, which is out of their national company, but they have offices in North Dakota. Are these all the bridges? Are these all mm -hmm. the bridges that the DOT inspects, or are these the so ones that they did inspect? Yes. These are ones that they, they did, did inspect. inspect. So is that all of them in our county that they inspect? You know what I'm getting at? So do we have 100 bridges that they inspect, but this is a bill for 50 of the bridges? Yeah, Only the bridges are in our county. They're they get one, two, three. Not all are. Yeah, yeah, I understand. These are not all right. the bridges in the county, but are these the ones that the DOT inspects? Is this all the bridges that the DOT inspects? On that bill, yes. Yeah, they would have listed sorry. everything they inspected, but they must do it quarterly because we got a bill just like that on different bridges in January. And that's just talking to Rachel about it. Because they must do that. Because okay. we got some of these are ours and some of the others they inspected and some are not. Yes. Bowman, Gunn, Evans, Hanger, Logan, Max, and Fox, Mercer, and Martin, they inspected. Looks like we all got them. But Rachel has the, she knows our code on that list. Thirty bridges, roughly, there in four or five counties or six counties, whatever it was. I can ask. Yes. I can. I have a question, and I'll call. Yes. Rachel. Rachel. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're like on a three-year rotation you know, or five-year. Yeah. 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 They don't do every one of them every time. That's. Then there was Adams. Adams. No, Walsh. No, Walsh. Walsh. They, they have over 500 bridges in their county. Yeah. Walsh. So they're getting these bills all the time, and they're like, oh, oh my God. 500? Yeah. They get the most we save in the state. So how many miles of actual road do they have? It's a bridge. 502. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 75 feet on either side of a bridge. <laughs> I'll just be right back. Is this the last one? Yeah. Okay.
kami interest yun, ah. Uh, amphibious. Guard. told us to keep you on track. <laughs> You're learning. <laughs>
Unless you want to start looking through the numbers and see who they're calling. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. It's up to you. <laughs> I'll move to approve the bills as presented. I'll second. <laughs> Any further discussion? Travis? Aye. Rick? Aye. Liza? Aye. Jean, aye. Well, it's a Jean. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Second reading of policy 403 paydays. Right on time. I think yeah. that's pretty self explanatory. Do we have to read it? Actually, read it. Or? Usually, we do. Okay. Yep. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. 403 paydays. All employees are paid on a monthly basis. A work week is defined as 12.01 a.m. on Sunday to 12 a.m. on Saturday, which compensation will include earnings for all work performed through the end of the applicable payroll period. Payroll month is defined as the 26th of the month to the 25th of the next month. For hourly and salaried employees, for elected officials, it is defined as the, the first through the last day of the month. Each paycheck will include earnings for all work performed through the end of the previous payroll period. Payday will be no later than three working days after the 25th of each month yeah, and no later than the last working day of the month. Payroll transmittals and timesheets must be submitted before 9 a.m. on the 25th of each month unless otherwise designated by the auditor. Mercer County will require all employees to sign up for direct deposit effective July 1, 2024. And the change here is that all employees will have to elect to have direct deposit. That's Correct. the change. Correct. Just to let everyone know. And I've had nobody um, send any, you know, okay. any disagreement with it or anything, so. Okay. okay. Well, I'll move to accept the second reading. Of uh, policy 403. I'll second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Rick? Aye. Jean? Aye. Motion approved. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you for Gwen. reading that, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. 932 and counting. We're going to. Um, let's do the Dakota liquor license approval. I'll move to approve the Dakota Waters Liquor License number 457. I'll second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Travis? Aye. Liza? Aye. Rick? Aye. Gene, aye. Motion approved. Um, it's okay. Do you guys know when the wage committee meeting date and time is? I think that they're just requesting one, yeah. Is that just to set a date and time? Yeah. I believe so. When Alice requested it, that's what she was requesting, a date and time. Oof. Anyone have an idea? Well, it's you and me, Jean, that are on the, from the commission, <laughs> and then everybody else is an employee, so um, what works best for you, or does it matter? To me, it don't matter. That's why I said any input. It matter. It, well, it it doesn't matter until you pick a date. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that one won't work. March. Well, let's see which. Probably. 
shortly after a commission meeting. Do you want? Yeah, we could do it after the meeting on the third. That'd be the next commission date. Sure. We'll just call it following the commission meeting. Yeah. Just say after the commission meeting. We won't set a specific time. We know most of them end at about eleven. Right. On average, so yeah, April third. That way, we're not making extra trips here. You bet. Third after the commission meeting. We don't need a motion on that, do we? It's not an action item. It's just a set date and time. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, it's so, so the next we we'll have a wage committee meeting on April third, following the commission meeting. Okay. Got it. Now we have nine thirty-five. We wanted to have our tax director. EM. No, this is tax director. And then Alice wanted us to call her. Should I just use my phone to do that? Is that sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay with it? You got the floor, so. <laughs> well, Travis put it on the thing there, but. Hey, Alice, I'm going to put you on speakerphone, okay? Okay. Can you still hear us? I can. Good morning, everybody. Morning. <laughs> can, can you hear it okay out there? Yeah. Yes, I can. Okay. So basically, we have the tax director um, on the agenda. Um, I guess an update from you, Alice. Uh, everything is finalized on, on Cindy? Yes, everything is finalized, and we need to move forward. Okay. Any recommendations from you how to move forward on it, or? Um, yes, like I said in my report, I believe we should move forward with appointing Jen Newmiller as the tax director, land use administrator, um, at a wage of 35, as she's very close to getting her class one certification, um, which will be completed, I believe, by November. And she has nine years experience in that office. And I would also suggest back pay to March 4th as she's already pretty much stepped into that role right away. Okay. And then we would post for a deputy in that uh, department? Correct. And then we would post for a deputy tax director, land use administrator. Okay. Did she mention, I didn't hear everything she said. Was there, um, did she mention a salary? 35 per hour. hour. Okay. 35 an hour, and then once she gets her class one certification, I would increase it to $36 per hour. And that would be in writing in her file. I'll make a motion to appoint uh, Jen as our tax director at 35. Until as we, until she completes her her class two certification, class two and then sure. increase to thirty six. Yeah. Class two or class one? Class one. Class one. Okay, right. that one's always confusing. Do they give you a two first and then a one yeah. second? Okay. Okay, I will second that. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? I just want to make sure that Jen is okay with that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And can we make sure that it, it's um, retroactive to March 4th, please? That was part of your motion, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Does he get include that in the word wording, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's retroactive to March 4th. The, the motion, as I understand it, is to appoint Jen New Miller as the tax director at a rate of $35 per hour. Effective March first, fourth, fourth, fourth. fourth. Okay, twenty twenty four. Until class one certification, and then she'll go to thirty six. Yes, so correct. Thought, yep. Yes, correct. Right. Is there a second? Oh. Okay. Rick made the motion. 
motion to have a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Rick. Aye. Travis. Aye. Um, Eliza. Aye. Jean, aye. And then I would move that we would post for a deputy tax director. I'll oh. second that motion. And salary will be determined at that time. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll have Alice work with the um, posting and when would we want those due? Did you hear that, Alice? I did. As soon as I get back Monday, we'll get that posted. Is there a deadline to apply? I usually like to say at least two weeks. I would say two weeks, two postings. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Um, when's you? Yeah, let's do two weeks. And it'll be in the paper on the 27th? So then would we say two weeks from the 27th? So deadline like April 11th or 10th, 11th, 12th? Do we want it in the paper two weeks? I would yeah. say so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So the applications are due by, well, if it goes into there and there, let's say April 5th. And we need a time too. April 5th at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay. Okay. Hold okay. on. Wait. April 5th at 9 a.m. Our next meeting is April 3rd. Right. Right. The paper comes oh, out. So you want the deadline at okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want. Uh, that will go in with the app. Thursday deadline, so it would be for the 28th. Is that correct? And then the 4th. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if we want to say we wanted the paper. At least two weeks, uh, and we make we cut it off on Wednesday. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, we're so April fifth gives us Friday. yes. So April fifth at nine a.m. That isn't on the right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then Jen and I can go through the applications together. Okay. Okay, you got that motion. Right. I want to. <laughs> yeah. All okay. I got for that motion is frame moved to post for a deputy director. Salary to be determined. Um, deadline for applications April fifth at nine a.m. Yeah. That was Travis's motion and Rick seconded and Rick it. Seconded, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? Any none? Travis? Aye. Rick? Aye. Liza? Aye. Jean? Aye. Any more? Is that all we needed on that, Alice? Yes, I, yes, that's all you would need. Okay. So we'll move forward with that, so. All right, I'll let you go then. Thank you, Alice. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Yep, bye. Bye. Okay, does that still leave HR under other business? Yes. Okay. Got a lot of notes here. <laughs> yeah. Planning and zoning. I think we could do that one, Kelly. Thank you, Jen. Congratulations. <laughs> Hot seat now. <laughs> okay. This is a renewal temporary use permit for Strata Corporation, number 631. Portable crusher and screening operations, stockpile of material on site and imported material. It's located on um, a portion of 24 acres of Southwest Porter. Of section 26 township 144 north range 84 west and i asked him what his plans were he said he had no project plan but he wanted to renew it just in case um, he does have some stockpile left but not much any complaints on did that site no. other than the it water just... issue <laughs> Was that a weed issue or that's a water issue? Water, I guess they were too deep and mm. things like that. But. P and Z, just go through P and Z already or? No. Temporary uses don't. typically okay. don't. <clears throat> and this one's been out there for years. And mm -hmm. Technically it's like what I 
mean, we could leave it past it that we would have to talk to the state water commission on that one because that was where they, they were looking at. It was affecting, he didn't know if it was or not, but they were down so deep that they were feeling that it was affecting his well. He was worried that it would be. Okay. But they haven't done any mining on it since then? No, they quit by the end of the year. Oh, yeah, and I didn't think they were going to renew it. That's why I called and asked them. And uh, it was just a little bit less. So he did decide to do so. That's why he decided to renew it. So. Any further discussion? I was just wondering if we should wait the next meeting with this one and ask them if they would come and give us an update. We can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Good. think we should probably we do table that. It. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll postpone this until approval of permit 631 for strata. We'll postpone until next meeting. Are we postponing or tabling? Postpone. <laughs> We're not going to bring it back up at this meeting. I just like that. I know. No. I just want to make sure that the word is well, it's, I know they use those words, but typically table means we, you bring it back up at the same meeting. Travis is going to go out and find some awesome information, then come back. So we just we keep it on the table. And then when he finds out, we bring it back. Postpone means it's off the table and it goes on. It cannot come back at this meeting. Yeah. Does it automatically go on the next agenda or not? We can, well, not automatically, but you can put it on whenever you want. I guess we'll let Jen ask him what I'll works for him. Yeah. can make it the next yeah, see yeah. what so. Okay. Or, yeah. All right. Thanks, okay. Jen. Yeah. You can get all the Carmen and see what fits for him. Right. right. Yep. Okay. So for now, we'll postpone it until next meeting and Go we can postpone it again. Yeah. If we want. No, I'm just saying don't that's the process. Don't you want to just wait until she gets the time and then we don't have to put it on the agenda? You had said postpone it to the next agenda. Let's let Jen get the time and we can do that. <laughs> I'm just putting postpone on here. I'm not adding anything. Postpone okay. until further notice. Okay. There we go. That's there go. usually not typical, but we can do that. <coughs> okay. Is that all for Jen? Or oh, she's got the Vanguard. No, I have this. Um, Vanguard service contract? Yeah. Normally, Cindy just did like a yearly renewal with them, and that yearly renewal cost. Um, $2,750, but if you sign a contract with them, you get a discount. So I thought, why not sign the contract? Um, signing the contract brings it down to uh, $1,925 a year versus $2,750. How long is with that contract, you get mapping. So when how long is their parcel, they can... How long is the contract? Five years. You can do a three or a five year. A three yeah. year it brings it down to twenty four seventy five, mm. and then a five year brings it down to nineteen twenty five. I mean, because since they use Vanguard, yeah, for and it's years, really just right? a website for people to go on and get the property cards and stuff. And then right now the parcel count they have is ten thousand five hundred and thirteen. So if our par our parcel count goes up, then um, that number doesn't change. The dollar amount doesn't change for five years. Which is kind of a good thing with Vanguard coming this summer. So yeah, we have a contract for them to add everything, so we that can get that kind of deal. That isn't going to change for five years. True. So. Oh yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Is this? It's kind of like a win. This, no, this why wouldn't you? This is going to be compatible yeah. with what we're doing. Though. Yeah, that seems so, very. And you get mapping with it, so I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Yeah. Okay. But that's showing you the savings. Yep. Okay. Makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion to approve so the five year service contract. Okay, the five are you making a motion to approve the five year contract five. with Vanguard? Yeah, for five the five year one. I'll okay. second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Rick? Hi. Liza? Hi. Travis? Hi. Jean I. Thank you, Jen. Yep. Thanks for finding that, Jen. Yeah. Appreciate that. Okay, we'll recess for five minutes.
How's Daryl doing? I have some other stuff I want to talk to you about too, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> like, I just whatever. So many things going on, I forgot. I, I almost have to write it down or I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's the alcohol one. Oh, yeah. I would then when they start. Okay. Just yeah, reach your care for your input. That's what you requested. Okay. okay. I've never been up here, so. <laughs> really? First time. Oh, wow. Yeah. My friend Nick Clark says, Oh, you haven't been here. <laughs> oh, you haven't been here since they <laughs> oh my no, gosh, yeah. I suppose there's no reason to be. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a huge change. Yeah, I would let and them know you're here and they know it's here. They know it's okay. Here. Okay, good. Thanks, good. good. Yep, you're welcome. Okay. Good hey Ken. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Right? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty fucking rainy. It is. There's no snow on the ground. It's just this morning they really upped it. Yeah. Like 18 inches, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't hear that. Well, that was well, this morning. They were going kind of crazy this morning on the weather. They're definitely talking 18 inches, but not here. Yeah, I think more really? 18 oh. inches is northern South Dakota, maybe yeah. extreme southern. Okay, Montana. that would be good. I'm happy with but that. But I think if the last here? time we've seen putting things together, I would guess close to a foot. Okay, can we handle that? I mean, let's say we get 12. Is the wind going to blow? If anybody sees it outside right now. Right, I noticed that. But they have Yeah, I've heard 15 to 20, so these are straight wind, but not as good. Sunday into Monday that's going to Saturday night. Oh, really? I haven't even heard that. Shoot. Make it to Bismarck yesterday. I didn't see it down there. No, I didn't either. Mm -hmm. Staying close to home. <laughs> no, I had my tooth extraction. That's pretty good. Last week. Well, I was now. surprised. But it's annoying now. now so I'm not like, <laughs> I got fingers and nose size. I was thinking before I went. I wonder what I'm going to take or I'm going to be bored or whatever. It was just totally opposite. Start to finish. There was good information. Five minutes. Call the meeting. Back to back to order. Um, well, Kent Ken is here. Yeah. We can do the purchase of the two belly dumps. 
Works for me. Sure. Morning, Ken. Just seeing if we can get permission to uh, purchase two used, uh, they're 2010 Arway uh, belly dumps. They're from Wesley Motor out of Dickinson Truck Center. Uh, Rick and I went down there last week. I think it was Monday, wasn't it, Rick? Monday, Monday or Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday. I think yeah. it was Tuesday. I don't and know. looked at them. And, they're in, and I talked with uh, Jeff Iverson, who used to be the road superintendent. They come out of Billings County, and they're in pretty decent shape. I thought and they're used, but they're the new ones. They're over seventy thousand bucks. And what are these? Uh, Twenty-five thousand a piece. Just for just a little bit of information on what Ken had worked with. Uh, they looked up, they think they said they were over 70. Um, we found these ones in Wesley. He talked with Billings County and they recommended that they were good machines. So I talked with Ken and uh, um, they uh, sent the two mechanics down there. They looked them over. They picked out two of the better ones that they thought. And so then we went back down and negotiated a price with them and pen pending on approval. So that's where that all came up to. So. And we have the money in the budget for it. Yeah, right. Okay. Any more? So, do I have a motion to I'll approve? Move to approve the purchase of these belly dumps. I'll second. Do we have any further discussion? Hearing none, Rick? Aye. Liza? Aye. Travis? Aye. Gene, aye. Do you have anything else? Uh, just seeing if we could. Uh, um, have Todd look this over. It's uh, next Terra met with me last week Wednesday, and they're the ones that are putting those wind turbines in down at in Oliver County. But they're one that transmission lines going through Mercer County. And I looked on the map, and it's um, the section line they want to use is the one right down there by that Flieger pit on the county line, off of 31 there, and then County 20 about a half mile on that. But that's that gravel portion. Um, a mile north of the Flieger pit. And then the other one is another section line um, east or west of the LOS that goes to the south, kind of goes up that hill. It's right to the west of where they put their, they put that uh, transmission or that uh, substation there where they're working on that. But that's also a section line. They want to use those as haul roads to get to that, for that transmission line. But they sent me this and Rick looked it over too and it's, I'd like to have Todd look it over and make sure. They said a lot of legal, <laughs> con, like a lot of contract. And I said, if we, we want the eyes dotted and the P's I mean, crossed, let Todd do it. Okay. I'm sure that I mean, sure. they live up to what they got to do, but I just want to have Todd look this over just to make sure that it's <laughs> something that we don't want to sign. Yeah, so know what it is. yeah, if it's a contract, we'll have our yeah. state's attorney look yeah. at it. So are those county roads or are they just section line roads? Well, one of them is a, a, the main county road that's at okay. County 20 right before Highway 31 on the west oh, side. Oh, when it ties on the west side yep. there. Okay. And then the other ones are section lines, you know, because that okay. one that goes right by the Flieger pit that we share with Oliver County. And then the other one's that one that it goes to the south, right where you come off of um, Hillside Trailer Court, the east end. It's a little bit east of that and then south. Okay. And we maintain those, or we don't really, but it's we, it, it's an access. Every once in a while, yeah, because I think there's some irrigation lines in there, and then okay. not, I mean, we don't do anything, no upgrades or nothing on them, you know, but, and that would be, if they do want to improve it, I think they would have to come in front of you, I think, is that the way it's not in there? I think that's the way it works, but. Yeah. I think part of the reason, too, is we talked about it was, is that Ken and I, in some previous meeting with another uh, county resident, they mentioned that when the, in Oliver, they uh, did some work down there and they came in from the west side of Mercer County into that one. And the resident down there said that there was, a, you know, during construction portion, there was a lot of damage to the road. So it's like, that was one of the things that we wanted to. Make sure know, that if something sure. does occur. Yeah, to right. Recover. Had him, he, yeah. he took some pictures. and right. That was going to be my question. They did. The contracts must hopefully state something about maintenance or damage they do yeah. that they'll um that's a, and they did make the comment too that they would uh, they want to video it prior mm -hmm. so we uh and um you know we go along on that and then try to do our own video at the same time probably right just to protect yep. our interest but so but i can just leave this with you guys if you want to get it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I just walked in. Nothing yes. yet. <laughs> what you're gonna do? That's what, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna have you do. It's a contract, and we want our state's attorney to read any contract before we enter we into it. Yeah. So we don't need that. Today. today, do no. we? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Because I think they actually have to go to planning and zoning because they have another temporary uh, lay down place, is what they said. So okay. they got a little time to work no. on that. Well, you just want to, just to looking at it, and Ken and I talked about it, and just like, we're going to send this to Todd. So. I think, no. it, like Jean said, it's important that any contracts go to our state's attorney to be reviewed. Okay. Got anything else, Ken? No, nope, that should be it. We're gonna uh, the next the snowstorm here. I just want to let you guys know too that um, we're gonna have a couple blades staged. I visited with Terry just in case they need emergency okay. call out. But also too, depends on how much snow we get. That we're gonna kind of see with is because the way the road conditions are, I don't want to take gravel off the road either. I'm gonna take as much snow as we can off mm -hmm. without taking gravel off because we know it's a rare commodity. So yeah, it's we're this try one to here. Get where we can off and if. They're talking anywhere from a trace of snow to upwards of two feet, so okay. it's going to be... Depends on what gas station you talk yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah. yeah, when it's so, there, we'll know. <laughs> really, that's, that's good to know that you're going to have people yeah, ready to go. As much as we can take off without... Yeah. And we're, it's, it froze before the storm, so that'll help. So. Yeah. <laughs> we're still under frost uh, loads too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I... I asked Aaron about that from the DOT, and he said that their subgrade temps are right at that 32. Mm -hmm. So, perfect. They want to see that improve some more, but the way is, you yeah. know, we should be close, but who knows the way this stupid weather is? It just keeps on pushing out. Take, you know? take them off, they'll be ready to go back right. on. Yeah. 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 As soon as we find out, I'll let you guys know. Okay. Thanks for thank staying you. on top of that, Ken. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Anything else? I'm just going to. I just wanted to share with you here too is the sheriff's department uh, wanted to thank Ken and they you know appreciated the input on uh, planning and getting this stuff ready for this storm too. So I just wanted to everybody to know that Ken did a good job of getting on top of this and keeping uh, communicating with them. So great. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Ken. Uh, Wanda's not in here. Want to do that EM stuff? Yeah, e EM application review. Yeah, um, we did have that one applicant that decided to withdraw, and then unfortunately yesterday, after the deadline had gone through, we got another applicant. But I was thinking it might be best if we just kind of step back just for a second and allow me to contact a few other agencies because I've heard a little rumblings about some other different things that we might be able to do with this. So let me have a chance to talk with them and then maybe bring this back at the next um, meeting that we have and then we can have a better idea as to what direction we want to go for the EM position. Okay. So then we would have no EM interview today? Is what Correct. You, okay. Yeah. Because right. unfortunately, like I said, the one came in after the deadline. Okay. But I wasn't sure what you guys wanted to do about that because then, like I said, I've had other information that just came to me this morning about the possibility of something else that we might be able to do with that as well. So I don't know. I want to research on that and check into that. Okay. Well, um. But I didn't know what the commission <coughs> wanted to do. We can. Well, if we had the one. Put the other person on <laughs> for an interview if we want to. We couldn't do it today, obviously. Right. If we wanted to accept that applicant for an interview or if we want to wait well we'll go with your recommendation and you're recommending that we wait that because like I said I got new information this morning about another potential way to work through the EM position that I want to check into to see first if that would be the direction we want to go and if so okay if we would want to yeah. how we would do that we had one applicant and we were going to interview that one applicant today. That applicant pulled withdrew. Their, yep. withdrew 
it so that we wouldn't need to, there would be no need for that interview then today. That special meeting. Correct. Special meeting. So at this point, we'll still have to, do you want to cancel that special meeting? Because we'll do that. Correct. We'll you want to cancel kind of convolute it, it there. We would, uh, no, we would. I think we open, open it the meeting and, and just say, since there's no one to interview, and we just okay. end yeah. the meeting. Right. That would yeah. probably be and the just, easiest way. And I wanted to make sure I didn't want to make the decision on my own about not interviewing that other person who, because they turned it in after the deadline. So, but I wanted to check with the rest of the commission to see how they yeah. felt about that. So I didn't want it to be my decision. Yeah. So what we'll do then is we will reopen the process the, of uh, an application process. So that, because then we um, close the applications were due by a specific time. They were due by nine o'clock yesterday morning, and this person turned in an application after that deadline. So me. let's. Uh, we won't reject it, but we won't accept it at this point either. Yes, but what we can do is we can uh, extend the application time or start a new application process for like two weeks, and then we can accept that application. If that's the right reason, because like I said, it, it, we may be going in a different direction. I've got some new information that we may need to, but it might be best to go in another direction. It might be. So let, for now, let's extend the application process at least till another two weeks, and then we can review your recommendations even at that time. How's okay. that? So it would be two weeks, because we need to put a deadline on that then. Yes. So we're at... Same thing again, probably. Um, the day before the commission meeting? So the same as the... Okay, do you have to advertise it for two weeks? I don't know if we necessarily have to advertise it, because we've already advertised. We have already, but I don't know if we're supposed to again, because now we didn't do the interviews. I think you would have to again, wouldn't you? I would think so. Yeah. Uh, April 5th so again. How was that? Well, would we have to have it two weeks, or would we just do it? Because it's already been advertised. We're just... Advertising extension. that we've extend yeah. that we don't like extension. extension. You guys always advertise them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not saying we don't advertise, so but we don't have to do it two weeks because like we did the last this tax director, which wouldn't be so bad because that would be more time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't disagree with you, yeah. but mm -hmm. I don't want us to uh, someone say no. It has to be advertised for two two more weeks. Mm -hmm. I. I don't know why we would have to, so we could say. Yeah, but Carmen has a good point. If we're advertising for the tax director deputy, that just ties in with it. So we could just do the same deadline and the same. April 5th. We're back to April 5th. Yeah. At 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Do you want to check with Carlson there, too? We, yeah. April 5th, 9 a.m. for the EM applications. Extension. Yeah, extension. Who made that motion? Nobody yet, but <laughs> I just I Liza is now. Okay. I, did no second. Right. I want to be able to say Liza made that motion to extend the applications to April 5th, 9 a.m. I'll we'll second it. And Rick seconded it. And do we have more discussion on that? That one almost gave me a headache. <laughs> Hearing none, Liza? Aye. Rick? Aye. Travis? Aye. Gene, aye. Okay, we're at 10.08. Um, I did this but, for a minute, Daryl, if you can stick around before, until we get done here. I got some, I did remember what I need to talk to you about, so. And Daryl's here for? The EM. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, oh. we were hoping to do the interview today. Uh, In the Beulah Beacon, I, or in the papers, I know, around here, but I know that... In the Hazen Star. It's supposed to be in the Hazen Star mm -hmm. and on our web page. Should yeah. we do it in the Republic? The Republic? Huh? That's what okay. I, I thought, I, about I thought this Alice yesterday. was going to do that, but I will double check on that. Okay. I actually thought about this yesterday at this meeting, and it's like uh, the conversation was like, I was wondering being that we should, we're looking for a joint powers when we were talking about that. Oh, I was wondering okay. if we are not, we shouldn't be 
advertising yeah. in Oliver also. Well, and Alice had said that um, she yeah, was, I was going to do okay. that, but perhaps that never happened, so we I, will I, make sure that it does. I was about to say, we, we advertise in our official paper, this should be advertised also Oliver County. Correct. Oliver. Yes. Usually in Oliver we do an application because there are more people there. Mm -hmm. Yep. But so I try and make sure this gets, I, what's the Oliver I'll County paper? Alice. Center what's Republican. Center, 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 Center Republican. And Sharon at the Hazel Star, she does both Hazel and Center. So yep. you can work with her for those papers. Yep. This okay. one, at least you get, yeah, since we're joint powers, we should get it advertised. Yes. Sorry about that. We didn't, I wasn't aware of I would have even thought of that, but thanks for bringing it to our attention. And this one should have definitely been. I just, I know they were talking about it at that meeting yesterday, and I, the light bulb went on then too. It's like with the joint power. We should be advertising in all of our along with Mercer. So. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I do remember Alice having that in the email that she was going to, but maybe it never happened. Okay. So I will check on that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was there anything oh. else that you wanted to talk about that? Um, When we split this, what would happen was is that we, we, we felt, when it got split, it was felt that it was a real good fit under the Sheriff's Department because they were doing dispatching and all that fun, but the EM was, they didn't want the EM under there. We did it at that meeting where you and I, me and Terry talked to you about, down there they would fill, they were going to, the Sheriff's Department would fill it in temporarily until we found an EM, and, and they're still doing that over there. And they've been keeping on top of all the grants and all the things that need to be the paperwork that goes ahead with all that. But the 911 technically goes through all the dispatch and all that stuff through there, and he has an employee that does that. Um, I can't talk about it right now, but you know that um, there might be some changes on that. I don't know yet. Yeah, you know, it's just. It's at the time not, that it's was not public, but I just yeah at the time that was that the time, best for us. Well, it, yeah. Yeah. You know there was um, when we did the nine one one, Carmen came over to the auditor's office, and so we there, it was the best fit was with the sheriff's department because they and they they had the employees and the place to go, and that's why we did that, and then. And obviously, you know, the DM portion of it, he, they've been handling it, but they don't want to keep it because Terry doesn't feel it's a bit, the best fit. It, his th thing is that if there's an emergency in an EM situation like that, they don't want to be burdened with the EM portion of it. They want to be able to respond to the emergency. You know, that's their Oliver or Mercer. And then when, we, you know, when we do, we'd have this emergency, somebody else should be there to you know, with Bismarck and everything that's got to go in with all the paperwork that goes with it. As, as we move along, we there can be changes can be made. Um, right now, we're just we work with what fit best for us at the time. It, you know what? And then there was this other topic that I got to talk to you about. With well, let's discuss this one a little more, and then we can we can take make this a pitch that will work for everybody. Okay. 
Uh, clerk of Court Biennium, Biennium uh, Contract Renewal. Wanda's here. Do we have... I thought we were going to have... Pardon? Uh, okay, we can table that. <laughs> <laughs> so all the EMHR you wanted to talk about, we discussed, right? No, I still have HR. Oh, you guys still have Still HR? have something with HR? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, we, until... What's her name, Wanda, that's going to show up? Donna. Donna. <laughs> Till Donna shows up, um, how much do you have enough time, Liza, with your HR it, update? It's, yeah, it's probably more of a, a question. Okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> there you go. Well, I can try and get you to give you an answer. Okay. It, it goes more towards, um, I had a question for Carmen because you had stated before, you know, that the HR benefits had not been included in our budget from the last year. Is that correct? Right. Yep. Yeah. But, but then when I reviewed our minutes or like our meetings and stuff from the October 5th meeting at approximately nine minutes, 45 seconds in, I specifically asked if the HR benefits were included and I stated healthcare and social security and you stated yes at that time so I was just wondering okay. what happened. You know and I'm thinking we got to go back and look because maybe at that point because that day when we were doing that final yeah that was the last and put it in there but so I was just wondering I what happened because we might have put it in when we changed the wages thing. So it might actually be in there then or not? I think it's a verification she's to do. Yeah, okay. I gotta verify. Yeah. But All right. If you I, could, I thought about that after Jamie said something about that at the last meeting, but I think we meant to, but I don't think we did. Because we would have had to have a line. Of, no. No. I gotta check on it. Yeah. All right. If I you could just let me know, I would appreciate it. that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Pebble Beach access. I, we have it on the agenda okay. for the next meeting. But. This is what they're asking was for you guys to review it because the next meeting they want a decision from the commission mm -hmm. regarding if you are going to want access at all. Um, and you got that. Well, I, um, gave you, I believe it was emailed out to you too. So you guys got a yeah. chance and it was just we put yep. it on here for you to discuss. Um, I'm almost, <laughs> let's, let's have it at the next, do, do you even want to have discussion now? We're not going to, we're not going to move on it. We're right not going to move so, on So, in my opinion, there's not much to discuss because. All I was going to say is I haven't had time yet, but I was going to call the core based on a comment that was made at the last meeting. I want to hear what the core has to say before okay. we make any decision on that. So, well, yeah, part of that is there'll be with since we're not yeah. we're not going to act on it. We really don't. It it it's it's be uh, I don't know how to say it other than the word useless to discuss it until unless we make do an action, and we're not going to. So and it was just put under mm -hmm. other things. Ed. Mm -hmm. So it's on it the agenda. Is on the next agenda. Okay, then we'll okay. discuss it then. And Travis, you're going to touch base with the core? Yeah. Okay. The only thing that I was going to suggest too is with like the core is like with the TMZ, the setbacks from them, isn't there? Isn't there? there is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 11 a.m. All right. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Okay. the next meeting, yes. Okay. That gets us well down to 10:30, which isn't here yet. So, portfolio updates. I can do mine first. I don't have any. I talked with the uh, state's attorney today. His office. I talked with uh, Wanda. She's coming up at as soon as Donna gets here. So, um, yeah, I don't have. And I was gone for the last week and a half, so I don't have any. I, I don't have any further updates. Rick? 
Uh, the sheriff's department, we don't <coughs> we don't have a lot going. I mean, we have a lot going on, but we don't have a lot of updates right now. We'll have a lot more next meeting. Uh, we're we're not, we're haven't finalized a lot of things yet, but uh, road department. Uh, we just you know we purchase these belly dumps. Uh, we will be probably looking at a tractor at some point. We're looking at a used one also. Um, he's got a few other things that we need to do. We're looking at a contract with one of those blades. It's got to be there's one that they want to get rid of. We're also looking at maybe keeping those uh, other ones longer. And uh, we are also. Uh, Anyways, uh, oh, the uh, um, the the other thing was is that I was going to bring up too was that uh, Ken has been working with uh, G uh, Jamie's not here, but uh, they had a breakdown with uh, the loader at the land landfill, uh, and uh, I did go out there and visit with her, and uh, he is uh, working with her. He's going to be able to take. Uh, I talked to them this morning. They're going to go take the loader out there and cover garbage for her. We wouldn't. Was able, we've got another loader broke down at the county shop, and they're going to cover garbage for us so we can get through this weekend with this high winds coming. And they won't. Uh, we won't be able to leave it there for her because of the snow. We want to station stuff. Uh, he, he mentioned that he's uh, worked with the sheriff's department getting planning with that. Fair board. We had a meeting last night where you know we've got thing, most of the things up, up in order, other than our Saturday night enter entertainment uh, backed out on us. So we were looking on that. Um, we'll have a meeting this week again with um, next week with uh, Hayes and Chamber on the, the venue with them. And uh, I don't have anything from extension other than this morning they had their. What do you do, do with, uh, what do they call it, their uh, annual reviews or whatever? Yeah, well, I guess I haven't received they, anything on that. Have they said they, they time have, for They're having those this morning. Mr. Oh, okay. Mr. Gray was up there. I couldn't be in two places at once. So that's so. So what I have with them. Um, on the ferry, they're talking about um, doing some of the 4-H stuff Wednesday even, right? Correct. Right. Okay. And then that's another question. I, after the meeting, I gotta, I, okay. I'll, I'll get a hold of you sometime today. Okay. Anything else, Rick? P and Z, uh, we didn't meet, so <coughs> I don't have anything to add there. I got a question. Uh, the loader, you say a breakdown on the loader. They were going to repair the cylinder on the loader. Did they that took, have something to do with that? They took the cylinder off and repaired it in conjunction with the steering box. Uh, steering sector went out on their loader. <laughs> okay. So when they took the I steering, that's what she told me. When they took the steering sector off, they took the cylinder off. And they're repairing everything at one time, so we get it back. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, she said it was going to be like a two-day fix, and now they're doing both. Oh, okay. Kidding. The only thing was is that Ken's been helping her to get through the shortage there. Okay. We were going to send one up there and let it stay there, but uh, um, it's no. Yep. <laughs> well, then the cat loader that we got a John Deere loader and a cat loader, and the cat loader is down too, and we've been waiting for Butler to show up for that, and they haven't showed up either. Okay, anything else? That's all we got. Travis? Uh, Donna's here now, do we want to? Uh, yeah. i seen she came in. I was... Okay. <clears throat> Clerk of Court, by AM State Contract Renewal. Donna and Wanda. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yeah, I got I did those. put another copy on that. Mm. I actually found mine. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm proud of me. I usually can't find my own paperwork. Okay. Go ahead. We got three options. We can do the Board of Commissioners may, after consultation with the Clerk of Court, elect to have the Clerk and Clerk staff designated by Supreme Court become employees of the state judicial system. Or number two, the Board of Commissioners may elect to enter into funding agreement for the 2527 biennium to receive reimbursement for providing clerk services, which is what we are doing. Or three, the Board of Commissioners may elect to provide clerk of district court services at the county's own expense. And
and that's what where we're at right now. And this has to be done by we have to let the Office of State Court Administrator know by April 1st of this year what we want to decide. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't want option three. We don't want option <laughs> three. I know yeah. that. I think we We're not prepared for last. option three. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I know I had always been leaning towards option one because um, there are larger counties in the state who do option one, and I've asked why not the smaller counties because it would save uh, financially on the smaller counties why are we paying to have the large counties be state officials but us small counties are taking on some of the burden when financially it'd be advantageous for us to turn it over to the state and, and i'm hearing what you're saying gene but um rick and i were at um that County Commissioners um, Association meeting yesterday and based on comments and what we talked about there as much as we can keep within our own control and not with the state is where most counties want to be so I mean I'm leaning towards option two the longer we can keep this in our control I think the better if the state comes by and says you know in 27 there's no choice we deal with it at that time but based on hearing from a lot of other counties um, that have it the other way they wish they still had it at least wish they still had control okay i was just gonna um, echo on that a little bit as far as like if we have two different agencies running under our courthouse or our, <laughs> it's going to be very tricky because i know like the state will have very specific set times that a person has to work they'll have very specific guidelines that they will have to do which will not coincide with what we currently have so then we'll have to adjust a whole bunch of other agencies and different goings on here within mercer county which may have some other followings out too so i think it'll like ripple effect out so i personally am leaning more toward it staying the way that we have right now and as travis indicated if it does when the in a couple years when the state or when it comes through and the state says this is how it's going to be then that's how we'll deal with it at that time but I think right now it's been operating efficiently and fluently and I don't be, see any reason to change it at this time Swanda or Donna have any comment no I just want to make sure you understand that the services would remain the same and that the fees that are collected will continue to go exactly where they go right now. The services that the clerk performs and the communication she has with the state's attorney and the sheriff, everything would continue to flow the same. It wouldn't feel any different in the office than it does right now because the, the counties that are state funded and if you take Burley or Morton, for example, the clerks still continue to work with the state's attorneys and the auditors and the sheriff's offices and that kind of thing and that's just a function of the clerk's office it's the same case management system Wanda would continue to manage her cases the way she does now which is on our software and at our direction and that kind of thing and so it really shouldn't feel any different to you locally the only thing is we won't do marriage licenses anymore or passports in our office so you'd have to find somebody within your county that's only if we go option one or that's yeah, regardless that's of option, option one. one okay because uh, under the statute the clerk's office is not to do marriage licenses or passports so in the counties that are state funded those functions are performed by the auditor's office and so, excuse me the yeah. recorder the the those are non-judicial functions yeah. gotcha the post office here does the record uh, passport right. so well, I think they moved that to Hazen unless it got moved back. No, it's in Stanton. It's in Stanton. Okay. And that's, I, I, and I'm obviously the odd odd one here, but to me, it's a financial thing, and this, as stated, the services won't change uh, in the clerk's office. The, they still perform the duties they have been, and, and the only is it'll be financially we won't have that financial responsibility anymore as a county. Correct. 
We just have to provide the office space, the lights, and the heat, basically, which we do right now. Right. So, so under option one, you talked about the fees and stuff that we get. We wouldn't see those fees anymore no, then? We would continue we, to see them because all of that is set in statute. The okay. fees that are collected are set in statute as to where they go, and that would not change. Okay. I just wanted to. That was, I wasn't sure on that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if we, regardless of the option, we would still receive the Absolutely. fees. Okay. Well, to get us to actually in formal discussion, I will move to accept option two for the clerk of court. I'll second. Any further discussion? Okay, option two is the motion. Um, Travis, how do you vote? Aye. Liza? Aye. Rick? I'll vote nay. Motion passed, option two. So we will, um, I'll have to, we'll get that off to the to. Office of State Court Administrator. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say clerk of court. I want to state it correctly. Okay. That'll be another to your contract. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Thank you. Donna. Appreciate it. 1030. Uh, parks in lieu funds. Mr. Schwer, you're up. <coughs> Do we have? Thank you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Marv. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning. Good to see you again. Uh, uh, Don, just a second on there. Yeah. Donna? Are you, is he going to have to sign something for you for this contract? All I had was uh, a copy from the state. We'll, bet between you two, get, get a yeah, that's all contract. Right. Get us a copy of that contract so we can get it signed, okay? Since you were here. Yes. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Pardon? Well, we, need, would, yeah, we need a contract to sign. Yeah. All I have is this document oh, okay. that states what our options are. Oh, it's not okay. a form of contract. Yeah. Yes, right. So, okay. okay, or at least leave it with Wanda and we'll get it yep. signed and stuff. Okay, okay. okay. Thank, you. thank you. Sorry, Marvin. No now, problem. I, now you're up. <laughs> <laughs> well, 1030 and it's 1032 already, so. We're, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> we're not measuring minutes that tight, not in my, where I'm sitting anyways. I was hoping that the state's attorney would be here because I was told that he probably would be, but maybe we don't need him. We'll just, just, walk just walked in. in. And just walked All you got to do is mention his name and he walks in now. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe you guys received a letter from our treasurer uh, at the last meeting saying that our parks and loo account was delinquent some monies. It's her opinion, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I value her opinion. I'll tell you that right off the top. I'm it is $123,315.96. This money was, as I see it, was taxed for a specific need or use. Use might be a better word. And the developer, there's two people that, when this money is not being used, uh, don't benefit. One is the one person that's paying the tax, which he could use that money for something else. The other is the public, which is me and yourselves, that we could use this money for the parks, and that's what it was intended for. Um, my question for you is, well, we'll start off with that question. What's your intent to get this account reconciled? Do you guys have any plans or any thought? Because this was brought up at a previous meeting. The first thought, thought was we were going to look at it at budget season and see what we could do with it. Okay, Rick, can you speak up to the mic? So I said the first thought was we were going to look at it at budget season so we could plan forward a, a method of putting this back. The other thing I have with this question is for you then too is of $123,000, I'd like to see the worksheets on, I'm not disputing the numbers, but I, I'd like to know where, where the numbers came from. You know, I don't know where they actually came from. Okay. You know, I mean, the thing about it is that, I mean, they could have been 220. I don't know. That, I haven't seen these numbers. 
Maybe Don, mm. Don has them. I don't know. Yeah, we did. I didn't see that one. But I know you brought it in there. We talked about it, but I don't. I don't know how we actually got year by year or what that is. That how it came. Okay. Just people started paying you. Okay, that's that's. Do you want a copy of it also, if you want? Sure. Okay. Just yeah. Make, make five of them. Yeah, just do it. Thanks, Don. Okay. Don came this to me once and I looked at it, and the good news is it can be fixed. The bad news is the previous commission is broken because it's very clear in the documentation when these subdivisions were made, that that money had to be set aside in a separate account, and Don has kept record of that. And looking at what previous commissions have done, um, that money got dumped into the general fund, and that was, that, that's illegal. Now, can it be fixed? Yeah. Um, Don has the figures. Believe me, it's better for her to handle the figures, and I'm not going to dispute that at all. But very simply, this commission has to correct previous commissions' error and get that money back in a reasonable. And that was going to be part of my statement was I don't have the documents in front of me. I'm sorry, I didn't, should have made sure I had that. But it did say that the money was going to be in the general fund. It's not Which supposed is, to be in the general fund. It's supposed okay. to be in that and separate because it is earmarked when Thanks, this all started. Okay. Now, to clear up one bit of confusion, I went back Thank through you. the minutes that Don and Carmen went back and dug and pulled out everything where this was discussed. Um, originally, this money was set aside, but it does not specify a specific part so if you've got a development, they got to set aside this much. I think it's 8% of the land for park public use, or in lieu of that, 6% money. So what's been done is the money has been deposited. That was supposed to well, stay. There's two parts to that, though. I mean, one, one is what you're saying is the 8% and the 6% was 2014 or 2015. Mm -hmm. In 2020, they changed that. That's my, my question is, is how do we, they had it back in those days that it was supposed to go into the general fund. And that's the way, the way of the, that item with that, uh, the, you know, that was written in, at that time. All right. The, ri the original one said it was, that's the questions I've got. Okay. I'm not disputing or okay. claiming. I just think that. Right. I wish I would have had that document on me. I think I sit here and dispute it here. right now for okay. me is tough. Well, when this money, when this was first set aside, it was specifically to go to park usage, the land or the money. Not not disputing that, right. but it was put in the general fund. And it was supposed to stay in a separate account. That got changed by a subsequent commission, and that was in the legal act dumping it into the general fund. I agree. I mean, I'm not in, opposed to that at all. I agree with the fact. But I mean, that's the commission that in 20, must have been 2016 or 2015, whoever was here at that time, put, you know, the one they drafted that thing, you, you must have been here in 20, when they changed that, correct? I'll try to answer that. I got a little bit more information here. This was the original document in 2002, said that the money was supposed to be deposited into the general fund. It does not say anywhere, in, and I don't know of any commission that allowed or voted for that this money be transferred out of the general fund and be used for general use. It should should have had, like Todd says, it could be in the general fund, but listed under a specific account so that we could keep track of it. That, our auditor at that time, that never occurred. So, and this was brought up several times subsequent to that, and... It was voted on again in 2022, in 20, 20, March 4th, 2020, and that's when it said it needs to be deposited into a specific fund. We changed the ordinance. So we have the one from 2002, we have the new one in March 4th, 2020. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm not sure if I answered your question, Rick. So this was supposed to be, you got 8% land or in lieu of land, 6% tax. And they take That's the two parts. It's either or. But they took the 8% land out in the, in the new one in no. 2020. It, it states in there, there's no 8% no land in the second one. Yeah, in our current planning and zoning ordinance, it, it's only the fee with a maximum of 2,500 per lot. I'll read that to you right here. In lieu of 8% land, the subdivider may, it says in lieu of 8% land, the subdivider may pay 6%. It does not say it was taken out of there. This is right there. It's in chapter six, page 615 of our planning and zoning ordinance. Let's see if I can find Nothing was taken out. You can look on page, I have a copy of that behind me if somebody wants a copy of chapter six. So with this, I mean, one way or another, I think we all agree that we have to fund this account. Mm -hmm. How we get there. Don and I talked, was that last week or this week? I've been here several times the last two weeks, so. <laughs> last week, okay. So in my thought process, um, we don't want, I mean, whether we do it now or at budget time, we don't want to tax anybody to replenish this fund. We don't want to use mill levies or anything like that to replenish the fund because then it's a double taxation situation. My thought process is that we budget a certain amount for the uh, BLM royalty monies this year. We didn't last year, but those BLM monies are non-mill levy revenues. So if those aren't earmarked for anything and they're additional funds, I feel that we could put those in this in lieu of fund, okay. if that's legal. So none of that nine hundred, none of that nine hundred thousand was uh, budgeted for. Right. So I mean. That money is not included in the current budget, and therefore it can be used to replenish this fund. My recommendation is let's get this replenished because the previous commission, um, nobody on this board currently serving. special fund and pulled into the general fund. If we have the money, we need to return it ASAP. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're well, exposed to some civil liability that, frankly, well, there we're gonna, anger was in the way. I'll, I'll differ, differ with you, but you're our legal advice, but we, if money's put in a general fund at the end of the year, if that's at a zero balance, it's at a zero balance, and it doesn't I want to be careful and not, not use the word it doesn't matter, but it needs to be specifically stated and collected and put into a fund to have that tracked or kept separate. But if you take money and you put it in a general fund, at the end of the year, your general fund's at zero balance. You can't come back and say, well, you were supposed to. Well, unless you could show me in the minutes that it said there's a special fund for this item and that money did not get put in there but if it's just supposed to be so-called earmarked or we're supposed to keep track of it well in two years well I'll take four years you'll have four new commissioners they don't know that this was supposed to be earmarked so 
that it wasn't put into a specific fund mm -hmm. doesn't mean it was wrong. I'm not against correcting it. Right. Don't get me wrong there. I'm just stating don't, you know, don't, I, I don't like hearing that it was supposed to have been put, supposed to have been put into this <laughs> fund. I won't disagree with that. But it went into the general fund. And at the end of the year, when we do budgeting, we look at the general fund money and we budget for the next year based on that money. We don't look at the general fund and say, oh, by the way, $50,000 was supposed to have been earmarked for this project. I don't know that. Let, let me explain it another way. Okay. Let's say you didn't budget for something that came up as a bill. All of a sudden we got a bill that we weren't expecting. Well, this is very much like, that, okay, let's say we made a mistake and somebody got hurt six years ago. And now we got to pay that damage. What's happened is previous commissions took that money out of the earmark specific for parks and put that into the general fund. They so didn't transfer the money out of an account into the general fund. It was just never put into a special account. Since okay. six percent will be collected by the Office of County Treasurer before a deed to the lot is recorded in the Office of the County Recorder. Said fees so collected shall be credited to the general fund of the county. Is how that that, that was originally set up. They, I'm not disputing in it, but I mean I do take a little offense when people come on and start start throwing egg at you that saying that you did this wrong, you did that wrong, or whatever. But these are what was happened, mm -hmm. and this is what we're done and we need to fix it where we will fix it but we can't do it today but it did say in the general fund yes. so well, that's <laughs> that, that was incorrectly done and going back to the minutes of august 7 2019 when that was proposed to put it in the general fund my elected predecessor jeff binder said that would be inappropriate and illegal the board reviewed the monthly financial statements Next one, State's Attorney Binder addressed the board, and this is from August 7, 2019, about the allocated funds for the park in lieu of the county. Binder stated the 2019 budget, the board allocated 25,000 for miscellaneous funds. But she does not believe it to be appropriate to spend the funds as proposed. She added, this would fall under the county giving out donations. I think, believe it had to do with giving money to a miscellaneous fund. Right. Right. It, okay. It's, it's analogous to that. So back when this was done, the commission makeup at that time included Dwayne Whiteberger, Dwayne Enzi, Mar, uh, Mark Schwerner, and Merlin yeah. Dahl. And, and, and when it said the subdivider shall pay 6%, with a maximum amount not to exceed 2,500 of the value when the, it doesn't say anything about in lieu of 8%. And this is the one that Marvin signed. What I'm saying is we And then we'll fix it, yeah. we will. Right, what I'm saying is that it was set up, it was supposed to be separate fund used only for parks and the like. Somehow through the commissions, I don't know if it was a bookkeeping advice thing, the money hasn't disappeared. There's no scienter, there's no criminal actions here going. What happened was it in our books, it was supposed to be in that in lieu of fund. And then that got moved in. Use the word should have been. Legally should have been. Right. And what they did is at that time is they, they followed what their, what they drafted. And then when Marvin Merlin and Dwight and Wayne drafted they set up a special account at that point. That's when they first did it. Other than until that time, they were following what they, you know, what they had uh, procedure. Here's where the legal problem comes. That moving it to the general fund for accounting purposes, that was the error. Because when we set this up and developers are developing, we're telling them we got to put this here for the parks. And if okay. It doesn't sound like anyone's opposed to right. 
getting the 123,000 back into that account. Plus the it, it so, be, yeah. Yeah. It what, what was done in the past is done. And no one's going to jail over what happened there. So let's let's move on. Let's get this say that we'll get that 123 in there. Has any money since what year did this start? 2000. I mean, you said the word 2002. I've heard 2002. 2002 is the first 12. one that I have in the planning and zoning book. The okay. first one that she's got in here is one January 20th, 2009. Yeah, here it's 2009. Had since that point in time have there been any monies allocated uh, 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 apportioned to any of the parks or any park districts or that the money could have come out of this account because this money is for any park project in the county Correct. for any purpose so to figure out the right amount to put back we have to figure out what is going to put into parks that would have come out of that fund Yeah. The way it legally should be done. See, and I'm in agreement with that. The only thing I, I would have a question on is to me is like the one twenty three plus the twenty nine fifty five, you know, total. What was there any money spent like say I'm just gonna use for an example, did Pick City get five thousand dollars for a, a park or, or he didn't get anything? Did some did that ever happen in those time frames? It, I don't know. We can have our auditor check and see if any expenses were made for that. It could be deducted from what what the what the count is owed. Yeah, that would be our true number that we should work with. Because I think we all agree on that. We've all talked about that. That we need to go figure out. The problem is we don't know what fund it would have come out had it been distributed. There is no expense. I mean, there is no. I look. I didn't see. No one gave me anything through our expense chart. City Park, for sure. I know they have. I remember that commission meeting when they gave monies to the those City are, Park. As being entered here, those are the two specific ones I can recall. So okay. There might be others, but those are the only two I can recall. Here, so here's a proposal for those. Pardon? Here's a proposal for taking care of this. We need, <coughs> excuse me. We need to get that specific number. I know that Hazen and uh, Pick City have gotten some. There might some for you or where have you, Zach yep. Stanley, yep. Uh, doesn't matter. We go back and look at those expenditures. Now, with that, okay, let's say we had, I'll just pick one of our, our, our big employers here. The total says, all right, we're going to give X number of dollars for parks, and that was spent for parks. That would not be money that needs to be put back in. I think the idea behind this, when parks started getting funded in this way state, across the state, I made a number of calls, is that we wanted to keep it separate so that they knew what they were spending on parks. Um, it's extra bookkeeping for the treasurer and auditor's office, but it's a legitimate question. Well, are we spending too much or not enough for our parks? So, so if keeping it in that separate fund, then you can look at it and know. So really, bottom line is we need a, a firm number from you, Don, if possible. Yep. And then it's easier to track. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you said for coal conversion, we got more monies than what we expected. It was correct? a shortfall, so it was just a one-time lump sum. Okay. And I'm yeah. just going right. to guess that that expense probably isn't going to amount too much, but we should. We just should so we have the accurate yeah. numbers. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll find it. There's got to be a paper trail. I'd, I'd rather just have an accurate number when we do it so we can just do it one time and not put it in there now and then find out we need to take out some later and stuff. I'd rather just do. So well, the other well, portion of this. Is, let's, let's table this for right now, bring it back yep. to the next yep. meeting. Don and Carmen can have the numbers. Postpone it. Yes. <laughs> Postpone it. The, the, the other portion of this that we haven't talked about that 
you don't do is it says in there that you know said fees are restricted for public park or public recreation use only uh, in December of each year the county shall advertise the availability for the funds for the public county public park and public recreation use all county public parks and regular public recreational entities may apply that's something we haven't done either. Exactly. Right. Isn't yeah. it in December? Yeah, it's in December. 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 Yeah. December. We have to advertise that's and then take. That's some of the other. What we should do is um, and what we, <laughs> is that a um, in our um, not our policies, but we should have possibly bring that whatever you want to call it um, up and probably review it or amend it. To so we can include it in our budget. If it's in a special fund, you wouldn't have to worry about yeah. it being in your budget. Right. Right. Yeah, because there's. What's that? It, it if it is in a special fund, it wouldn't have to. It would not That's include it in your budget. To go. Yeah. Right. Right. That special right. fund would have its own accounting. Right, and we would we would take care of this other issue prior right. to that. So then we wouldn't have to budget X amount each year because it would just be the amounts that's coming in but from the can, agencies. We're going to spend it. We still have to have the budget. Yeah, it says it says said fees shall be deposited into a special review revenue fund. Is what where it's supposed to go, and then we're empowered to appropriate out a set account monies to parks and boards. Said fees will be based on we went through all that. And the other thing on the bottom end of it is that you know the account, all the county commissioners shall evaluate all applications, appropriations of said fees, further discussion, and their decision is final. All monies remaining in the account at year's end shall be carried forward, and that stays it stays in that special fund. Right. But even monies that are in special fund, we do yep. go over them during budget season. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that that's, count. but that's fine. We don't have that's to. Oh, when I, I was said it didn't have to be. I, I shouldn't have brought that up. It wouldn't affect the general fund, is what I should have been saying. Right. Correct. So I'd like to summarize this the way I see it. One, we reconcile the exact amount that's owed. Need to get that reconciliation. Second, I recommend it, once we know what that exact amount is, then a direct transfer from the general fund be made into this new account, new fund that's going to be created, because we have excess money in our general fund. We've already been told that. Thirdly, I'd like to emphasize what Rick just got done reading. I had it written down to bring up. At the end of each year, the intent was we would send a letter out to all the parks in our county and let them know that monies are available without stating the amount. Monies are available for possible use. They need to submit an application for what they want monies to be spent on. And then the board would decide how to allocate that money towards those submitted. Thank you. That's all I have. Well, we're in total agreement. <laughs> <laughs> right. and, we'll yep. get the numbers together. We'll take care of it next time. Okay, so we'll uh, postpone the decision on the dollar amount until next meeting, and we'll see. We'll, move, we'll act appropriately at that time. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, Marvin, for coming in. Marvin, okay. Just put it on there, some okay. fit it in. Um, then the, um, it's almost like watching the news. I go right from something like that to portfolio updates. I almost feel bad. <laughs> That's right. Travis? Okay. Um, like Rick said, uh, we had no planning and zoning meeting this month. We'll have one um, in April. Um, Rick and I were at the um, North Dakota County Commissioners Association um, meeting yesterday. Um, it was a very informative meeting. All I can say is there are 52 other counties dealing with the exact same issues that we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we shouldn't feel bad about that by any means, but um, I thought it was a very good meeting. Um, it felt uh, almost militarian because it was like, you have two minutes left to speak. Oh, <laughs> and then they, okay. I mean, they had us jam packed in there, but and it was, was on their phones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, it was it was good. Um, and then as far as uh, some of the stuff that comes up with that, um, I think uh, I, I think we're doing well. I mean, we have uh, our own things that we're taking care of, but 
hearing from the other counties, um, uh, we're not alone. And uh, that's always good to hear. Um, we've covered the um, tax director stuff right now, uh, or today's meeting, so an update on that. Um, there is going to be a Lewis and Clark um, special meeting. I don't know the exact date, but um, at the next meeting, I'll have um, stuff to report on that one. Um, and then um, there is a um, NDERF um, annual meeting in April. I think it's 18th and 19th. So Thursday, Friday. Um, I'll be attending one of those days. Um, I was actually nominated um, at the Associated Santa County's meeting to be the one of the county representatives to sit on that board. So um, it's kind of a formality, but I will probably be one of the board directors for NDERF come April. So um, just wanted to say I'd be there at that one. And then um, I think that's about all the updates I have. Everything else is, was previously covered. Okay, Liza. Oh, any questions for Travis? Liza? Pet for airport board, um, probably the biggest shocker we got is we got our crack, crack seal bids back and they were over double from what they were last year. Um, so we were trying to see what we could do about that. Um, luckily, we are able to get, it sounds like about a 90% um, refund on that possibly, as long as the state applications go through and the federal applications. So hopefully those go through for us because um, they actually need a special kind of crack seal out at the airport, so we have to take one of the bids. So we just took the lowest one that we had on there, but like I said, that was over double of what it was last year. Um, so we're hoping that isn't a trend or anything else that we have coming through at the airport. Um, also, notice for other people too is the airport board meeting will be adjusted to April 2nd as opposed to the second Tuesday, which was April 9th, so it'll be April 2nd at the airport board. Um, That's just this April? Yes. The one meeting, okay. Yep. Okay. And unfortunately, I was not able to attend the um, ambulance board meeting last night, so I don't have any updates on can that. Just, can I let you know, Liza, I've been talking to the ambulance and we're working on that district, that rural district. So I know that they were gonna meet with you and yeah. see what they needed to do or so how to get it. On. Okay, perfect. And um, talked about EM already talked about HR already. Um, the other thing is the Treasurer's Department. And unfortunately, when I talked with Don just a little bit ago, there's still no applications for the Deputy Treasurer position. Um, so I'd like to put that, if we can make sure that we get an extension on that, I know that um, Don was gonna work with Alice about getting an extension on the application deadline for that. And then just please put the word out to anybody you know anybody that would be beneficial that we could hopefully get an actual interview in to see if they would work well within the treasurer department. That's all I have. Any questions for Liza? When we have those applications out and we don't get any, would there something be in there that we could continue to take apps, applications until filled? Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Like we should have, we should have a date, but then if that date and we don't receive any, we could continue until positions filled just just a thought I mean as as we I, I, I feel we're gonna have positions open periodically you know that could go beyond two weeks so they could go speak. beyond two it's weeks generally <clears throat> we put a deadline on for two weeks and I I know what the the, the meaning behind that is when you expect you're gonna get like 20 applications you don't you want to cut it off but when we don't receive any then uh, yeah we should leave it open-ended until until we get some I don't disagree with that right I, I feel we should have a deadline but then some wording in there that <clears throat> applications will be can continue to be accepted until positions filled and um, maybe you know, we do that like the first time around we do an application deadline and we don't get any, then maybe the next step would be to say until we receive one and the position is filled, then right. we close the application process. Uh, not necessarily anything we do today, but just <clears throat> yep. a thought process as we're going forward with positions. Yep. Right. I agree. Mm -hmm. I 
that it, Liza? Yep. I do have one question, uh, our auditor. Mm -hmm. Where are we on our audit? Our state we're audit. Working on it. Okay. I mean, we've been giving them information and we're because we're going to have to budget for our general. next yeah. our next audit it's here. Be every year. <laughs> oh, it's going to be every year now? Yep. Yep. Every year. And they actually found century code. So, yes. So, okay. we'll be doing this every year. And we've been giving them information. Yeah. And I think they've got most of it. We're getting to the end of it. Is what she said. And they started like really late. They started it so late. late. Yeah. Was they it December or it was after the first? I think it was. started. But yeah, no, I mean, it's beside the point. Not knocking them because they're busy, but yeah. we can do this every year. This is just going to be a process. Yeah, because that... We just send them what they need, and it's not Technically, we should have had that report by, like, August of 23, and now we're at 24. We're, we're well, we didn't even looking. get started until January. Right. Right. Yeah. But so. you will get your report, and then every year. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 That's all I ask was where we're at. All right. Okay. Now I know. Yeah. Thank you. Anything right. else? Thanks. We'll just... When we close this, we'll open the special meeting uh, yes. and close oh, it. Oh, I forgot. Yes. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, meeting adjourned. And now i got to find my special. There it is. I was taken off. Thank you, Travis. Yep. Okay, now we'll call the Mercer County Commission special meeting to order. Um, and the... Uh, well, we can approve the agenda. Yep. I'll move to approve the agenda. Second that. Any further discussion? Hearing none. Travis? Aye. Rick? Aye. Liza? Aye. Gene? Aye. We have no one to interview, so we're done. Meeting Being adjourned. <laughs> Did you get a whole minute? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did not, Gene, so we'll chat a little. No, we can't. Yeah, yeah. We're not, we can't even discuss, so that's why we That'd be crazy. Okay. Six. Six. Okay. I know. Let's just get it signed and then remain.